Hi, good evening, everyone. Today, what we are going to go ahead and do is discuss about deflation in China. Okay, so we want to go ahead and we want to understand what have been the reasons, whether first of all there has been any deflation in China or not, and if at all there has been any deflation in China, what have been the reasons for the same? Okay, let me just quickly open. Okay, so so the question is, and and this has been coming out with from just one or two days. Is there any deflation in China? Right? What is deflation? Deflation is opposite of inflation. ठीक है जी. Inflation क्या होती है? जब prices increase कर रहे होते हैं, right? Inflation economy में कब आती है? जब भी economy boom में होती है. Everybody is employed. Demand बहुत ज़्यादा है. जितनी सप्लाई नहीं है उससे ज्यादा डिमांड है सब लोग गुड्स को डिमांड कर रहे हैं मनी ज्यादा स्पेंड कर रहे हैं स्पेंडिंग ज्यादा है तो उस केस में इकोनॉमी में इन्फ्लेशन आती है नाउ कंसीडर द ऑपोजिट ऑफ इन्फ्लेशन दैट इज डिफ्लेशन तो डिफ्लेशन क्या हो गई जब इकोनॉमी एक डाउनफॉल पे यूजली डिफ्लेशन एक किस चीज का इंडिकेशन है डिफ्लेशन इंडिकेशन है कि शायद इकोनॉमी अब एक लो पे जा रही है शायद इकोनॉमी में लॉसेस होने वाले हैं शायद इकोनॉमी में रिसेशन आने वाला है ठीक है तो जो हमारी डिफ्लेशन होती है डिफ्लेशन इज बेसिकली एन इंडिकेशन दैट मे बी द इकोनॉमी इज गोइंग टू गो थ्रू रिसेशन शायद इकोनॉमी में रिसेशन आ जाएगा इसका एक इंडिकेशन है डिफ्लेशन ठीक है जी सो द क्वेश्चन दैट वी आर आस्किंग टूडे इज दैट Is there going to be deflation in China? ये जो न्यूज आ रही है आजकल क्या वो सच है या नहीं है सो लेट इज टॉक अबाउट सम डेटा पॉइंट फर्स्ट क्या डेटा पॉइंट है फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल ट्राई एंड अंडरस्टैंड दैट चाइना प्रोड्यूसर प्राइज दे फेल एट द फास्टेस्ट पेस ड्यूरिंग जून पिछले सात सालों को अगर हम कंपेयर करें इफ यू कंपेयर द लास्ट सेवन ईयर्स then the producer prices the prices of the goods agar uh, we know right we are economic student hum sabko pata hai ki bahut sare index hote hain jaise consumer price index producer price index right so if we look at consumer and producer price index dono hi china mein fall kar rahe hain and you know when these indices fall jab consumer price index ya producer price index decrease karta hai when they decrease when they fall it means that actually there is going to be deflation in the economy inflation kab aati hai when these index are increasing but if they these indices are decreasing it means that there is going to be deflation in the economy so consumer inflation fell to 0% in june right as compared to what was there in the year earlier right and what we have seen is that producer prices are also falling theek hai so this statistics this data also suggests that maybe there is going to be deflation in china now understand that chinese economy has been struggling bahut zyada issues hai sabse pehle china ne kya kiya they started following zero covid policy so in order to follow zero covid policy unhone bahut zyada restrictions laga di then usually jo humne dekha what we saw in india also and in many countries is that there was a v shaped recovery V-shape recovery का मतलब ये था कि जैसे ही हमने कोविड के रिस्ट्रिक्शंस को हटाया ऑल ऑफ अडन द इकोनॉमी स्टार्टेड गोइंग टूवर्ड्स अ बूम राइट द इकोनॉमी स्टार्टेड इम्प्रूविंग बट द क्वेश्चन इज क्या ऐसा कुछ चाइना में हुआ या नहीं हुआ जब चाइना ने अपने जीरो कोविड रिस्ट्रिक्शंस को हटाया डिड इट ऑल्सो गो अड एंड डिड इट ऑल्सो सी एंड इम्प्रूव इन द इकोनॉमी स्टेटस क्या इकोनॉमी उसकी इंप्रूव हुई द आंसर इज नो China did not see an increase in the demand. China did not see an increase in the GDP. China did not see an improvement or a recovery of the economy. ठीक है. So, जो China में consumers हैं, they are basically spending very less. But when consumers don't spend money, that automatically creates a recession in the economy. अगर डिमांड ही नहीं होगी इमेजिन इन टर्म्स ऑफ यू नो यू यू आर इकोनॉमिक स्टूडेंट इमेजिन वेन द डिमांड विल फॉल वेन देर इज नो वन टू डिमांड द प्रोडक्ट 
देन ऑटोमेटिकली प्रोड्यूसर्स विल हैव टू सेल एट अ लोअर प्राइस कुछ तो करेंगे वो उनको बेचने के लिए सो सपोज इमेजिन एक बहुत बेसिक एग्जाम्पल आई वॉन्ट टू सेल माई वेजिटेबल्स इन द मार्केट नो बडी इज विलिंग टू बाई माई वेजिटेबल्स वॉट विल आई डू I will start to reduce the price of the vegetables, right? So when there is no demand in the economy, you will start selling at a lower price, and price will start decreasing. That itself is deflation. So what we have seen is that consumers are keeping very purse; their purse is very tight. They are not spending the money. Also, what we have seen is that the youth unemployment is at a records high. It is very uh you know the unemployment is increasing and the property market is also at a slump in china now what we have seen is that now government has to take some actions jab bhi recession hota hai to government ko kuch actions lene zaruri hote hain recession completely nahi aaya and this is just an indication that it may go into recession so the question is what should the government do ab ek possibility jo government kar rahi hai is that the government is asking to go ahead and reduce the interest rate but when interest rate will be lower what will happen if banks offer loan at lower interest rate it will go ahead and it will increase the loans that people take if people will take more loan there will be more demand if there will be more demand it will boost the economy so one thing that they are trying to do is that they are reducing the interest rate with an expectation ye soch rahe hain ki agar interest rate ko gira de to demand bad jayegi log zyada loan lenge zyada spend karenge demand badegi and economy will boost up however what has been seen is that people are not taking loan even when interest rate has decreased इंटरेस्ट रेट डिक्रीज होने के बाद भी लोग लोन नहीं ले रहे हैं पीपल आर नॉट स्पेंडिंग मनी दे डू नॉट हैव फेथ ऑन द इकोनॉमी राइट सो देर इज नो डिमांड ऑफ द लोन्स इवन वेन द इंटरेस्ट रेट हैज डिक्रीज बिकॉज पीपल आर नॉट कॉन्फिडेंट अबाउट द रिकवरी ऑफ द इकोनॉमी दे डोंट थिंक दैट द इकोनॉमी विल रिकवर सो दे आर नॉट इंटरेस्टेड इन दिस आई ऑल्सो वॉन्ट टू इंट्रोड्यूस यू टू समथिंग Which is called as balance. ये बहुत important term है बेटा. इस ये maybe you have never heard of this, but we should also talk about the balance sheet damage, right? और इसको बोलते हैं balance sheet recession. समझो सर एक बारी balance sheet recession क्या है? Imagine that you have five houses. मेरे पास पांच घर हैं. तो मेरी balance sheet के asset side पे ये पांच घर दिख रहे हैं. I have five assets. Imagine that you purchased one house for eighty lakhs, or because economy was very good growing, this house that you purchased for eighty lakhs is now worth one lakh twenty, one crore twenty lakhs. मतलब आपने बहुत profit किया उस घर पे. This is balance sheet giving you a growth. ठीक है. अब इसको opposite imagine करो. You purchased a house for eighty lakhs. आज जब आप मार्केट में जाते हो उस घर की वैल्यू सिर्फ फोर्टी लैक है द बायर हु वॉन्ट्स टू बाय फ्रॉम यू इज ओनली विलिंग टू पे फोर्टी लैक्स फॉर इट कोई भी उस घर के लिए ज्यादा पैसा नहीं देना चाहता यू आर इन अ लॉस यू परचेज इट फॉर एटी लैक्स बट पीपल आर ओनली विलिंग टू पे फोर्टी लैक्स टूडे दैट इज कॉल्ड बैलेंस शीट रिसेशन सो जब डिफ्लेशन आती है जब इकोनॉमी गिरती है वेन द इकोनॉमी फॉल्स that is when you will see balance sheet recession your value of the asset the asset that you have purchased in the past uski value girni shuru ho jayegi now when you think that the value of the asset is falling jab asset ki value giregi what will happen you will never take more loan to buy new assets aapko economy pe uh, trust hi nahi hai so you will not take loan to buy assets so in this case reduction in the interest rate is of no use monetary policy is ineffective nobody is interested in the monetary policy right people are the only way to go ahead and to boost the economy economy ko kaise uthaya ja sakta hai the only way to go ahead and boost the economy is through fiscal policies is this clear so this is what is happening in china they are 
ask they they want to boost the economy by reducing the interest rate so that money increases in the economy demand increases in the economy but this is not ineffective uh, not effective theek hai monetary policy is not working the only thing which can boost china's economy today is the fiscal policy if government comes in if government does the spending right <laughs> one last thing i want to highlight here still there are many economists in china who are downplaying the risk of deflation wo bol rahe hain that deflation aayi nahi hai theek hai wo bol rahe itna koi bada risk nahi hai so they are still negating that there is no deflation in china however the data suggests that actually deflation is hitting china okay so this was a short case study that i wanted to discuss with you on deflation on china thank you beta